Many people still believe that you should not bother buying an electric car with fast charging. And I've heard this and seen this written thousands and thousands of times. They say there is no need to buy an E with 300 kilowatt charging, 400, 500, 600, 1000 kilowatt. It's a waste of money. There's no charges to charge at that speed anyway. And whatever there are, there's so few of them, why bother? Well, Tesla begs to differ. So does China. In fact, I know of several Chinese companies planning on rolling out super fast chargers in Europe and in Australia and many other countries around the world. And when I say super fast, I'm talking 500 kilowatt chargers in line with Tesla's. Now, there was actually a story uh, today about Tesla's new chargers, their superchargers, which will enable actually 1.2 megawatt charging and make 500 kilowatt chargers ubiquitous around the world, says Tesla. I actually do think that the rollout of these super fast chargers will be quicker than what people estimate and that in the future, it will be quite normal to charge your car at 500 kilowatt, not just in China. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. If you haven't already signed up to our newsletter, um, make sure you do so. I'll put a link in the description because truthfully, most of you are not going to see our videos if you don't, they're just being hidden on YouTube for whatever reason. But if you get the newsletter, then you just, you get options. You, you can look at the newsletter and say, well, that's the videos today. I don't want to watch those. And tomorrow you can see the videos and say, oh, well, I want to watch one of those. That's interesting. It just lets you know what's actually happening. So what is actually happening here? Well, there's an interesting post here, which was from Tesla's charging director called Max. Now, Max shared... Um, in this post on X, he said, first V4 cabinet supercharger. It's first the first 500 kilowatt charger for Tesla's, 0 0.5 megawatts, three times power density, two stalls per cabinet, higher throughput, higher efficiency, lower cost, faster deployments. And even though this sounds boring to some people, here are the key phrases, guys. Higher throughput, higher efficiency, lower cost, and faster deployments. When Tesla installs superchargers, one of the biggest determinants of it installing those superchargers is its return on investment, but it's also about faster deployments, building them as quickly as they can, because obviously time is money, but lower cost as well. And Tesla's big advantages over other charging companies are being able to build their charging units much cheaper than rivals. There was some data in Texas when they did a public tender showing that on average, it cost Tesla about 80 to 90% less than its rivals because its production of superchargers was much lower. Tesla's now saying these new superchargers, aside from being much faster at 500 kilowatt, are lower to basically cheaper to manufacture and they can deploy them much faster. What this means, you're unlikely to see very many of Tesla's solar chargers being built in the future. Tesla will only build those if they absolutely have to, because if these new chargers are cheaper to manufacture and cheaper to deploy, faster to deploy, and much more efficient, that's going to be a huge factor. And that will mean most Tesla chargers that are built from now on will be 500 kilowatt chargers. Now, in some locations, of course, there'll only be AC chargers, destination chargers, that's different. But I'm talking Tesla supercharger network will rapidly change over the next few years. So Max said this, it might be odd to get so excited about a white box, but the V4 cabinet is a charging masterpiece. AC in 16 trays of power electronics, DC out. This is the tech that will make 1.2 megawatt charging for semi or electric semis. It won't just be Tesla semis and 0 0.5 megawatt charging for cars ubiquitous around the world. Now, obviously in China, this kind of charging is already ubiquitous because they have many fast chargers there. But for the rest of the world, we don't have that yet. So this is really important and it will force, Tesla will force some other manufacturers who they, who can basically, who Tesla compete against to innovate and to start building faster chargers in other locations. Plus, I think we shouldn't overlook the potential for change in the trucking sector. 
the Tesla Semi has the potential to be the company's most disruptive vehicle in its lineup. And as more electric semis are made, we're going to see that market change rapidly. But big challenge for the Tesla Semi, being able to charge. And being able to find chargers where it can charge fast enough that the Semi doesn't sit there for too long. I mean, you don't want a work vehicle sitting around charging for a long period of time. So 1.2 megawatt chargers are really important. They're not just important for us as a community to have get rid of these diesel polluting diesel trucks, uh, which are also very, very unsafe in, for numerous reasons, but also for other companies. I mean, other companies, if they build an electric truck and there's nowhere to charge it, that's a big problem. So we need Tesla to build them. Uh, people have been emailing me saying for years now saying, when's Tesla going to build these 1.2 megawatt chargers? Well, it sounds like the time is now. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code, and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount. Tesla are building 500 kilowatt superchargers, but this story is actually a bit more impressive than it sounds for one very interesting reason. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Tesla superchargers, they're installing 500 kilowatt superchargers at less than 40,000 US dollars per stall, which is way cheaper than any of the competition. This is the big thing here, cost. What does it cost you to build a, an actual charger? Is it worth the money? Uh, I mean, it, it's gonna add up, right? You wanna build a supercharger network? Let's say you wanna build a thousand of them. Well, if you're paying double this price, it becomes quite expensive. Tesla already operates probably the most expansive and reliable electric vehicle network in the world. But Tesla's director of charging for North America said the EV maker is going to up their game significantly. Tesla is, is not just rolling out more powerful superchargers, it's also rolling them out at extremely low costs. Recent comments from Tesla director of charging for North America, Max Dezeger, says the company spends only forty to forty-five thousand dollars to install one 500 kilowatt supercharger stall today, which is incredibly cheap. The numbers that we've seen show that most rivals to build out, say, like a 350 kilowatt charger, it's either double or triple that cost, and sometimes even four times that cost. And actually, sometimes even five times that cost. I mean, for example, right? There was a news story yesterday that New York Governor Kathy Hochul has um, provided the New York Green Bank and Ravel a $60 million uh, basically payout to build 267 new charging stalls in New York City. 